Would you believe me if I said that Subaru were in the crew? And I mean were. Past tense. I'm back on the crew one, but I'm not on my account because of one specific thing. One specific car is the reason I'm not on my own account here today. Oh my god, changing settings on the fly? That is so nice. See, I'm on someone else's account on the crew here today because that's the only way I could get my hand on the Subaru. Because way back when, from launch, I believe, Subaru would... There, I mean, there was no reason to think that Subaru wouldn't be in the game. The whole reason I'm on this account, he owns the car. The Subaru BRZ in a crew game. Would you look at that? <laughs> now, this is something you cannot do at all in the crew 2 or the crew motor fest. In fact, it's not even something you can do if pre before the shutdown, which happens Sunday... 29th? I don't know. It happens someday. I don't know. If you pick up the game, even now, you cannot do this. You cannot buy or own the Subaru BRZ. This car is gone from this game. Now, why is that? This is a Subaru BRZ driving around where the Street Racing HQ is going to be in the future, I guess. LA! Places where you can own this car, well, if, if you played way back when. Right, first and foremost, I want to actually check this car out, because in the Crew 1, it worked a different way. You didn't have different models in different specs. It was technically the same car being tricked out to different specs in this game. So let's see what specs this thing actually has. We've got street, we've got dirt, we've got perf. So this car, if it was in the Crew, it would have been in perf, which is street, and it would have been in Rally. Interesting. Damn, it would have ended up in Rally Cross if it was still in the game. Let's check out some of these versions, though. I prefer that system for specs. You know what I kind of do as well? For a reason I'll explain later. Because first I want to see this thing's customization. Oh, we got number plates as well. Oh, absolutely beautiful. We've got actual front bumper customization. What's the stock look like? Do we have a stock? I don't, I don't know. But we've got swapped out there on the bottom right and left. We've got that one there, which is that one's actually quite nice. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I don't wanna, I don't wanna ruin this guy's customization. But you know, that one was, that was pretty nice. We got darker lights, which is something the crew do all the time. Then I assume just different exhausts. Yeah. Also a completely different customization system, which uh, yeah, interesting. Oh, fenders. Huh. Nice. Is it a wide body kit or is it just like a slight adjustment? We got some different skirts. We got some different rims. Did you know that the Crew 1 also had material, different rim materials? This game has different rim materials where the Crew 2 and the Crew Motorfest don't. That is a matte rim. Cannot do that in the Crew Motorfest or the Crew 2. That's a gold rim. That's a silver rim. And we'll get black and white versions of them all. Damn it, the Crew. A rally version as well? Let me look at this bad boy. Oh! And obviously, rally cross cars, if they're not official ones, have customization. Why? <laughs> that is sick. Okay. I've never seen lights like that on any modern day crew car. Oh, that looks so cool. What? All right. Do you mind if I customize some of these? Oh, that's a much nicer... That's a much nicer splitter. Uh, I don't really like the quad lights. I don't mind that these dual lights are so cool looking. They are they are clearly JPEGs. <laughs> but they look good. They look good. And I've been given the okay to recustomize some of these cars on the basis that, well, the game's shutting down. So, <laughs> oh, that's actually really sad. No, that's really sad. <laughs> We've got a red pinstripe at the back here. Interesting. We've got... Do we have anything cool back here? Not really. This stuff's just basic. Okay, I don't like the red pinstripe though. <laughs> can I can I blue the pinstripe? Why is it blue on the front but red on the back? Okay, we still have the crew having mismatched customizations. Thank you, crew. Give me a blue splitter, a splitter on the front and then no blue split, splitter on the back. Thank you, Ivory Tower. The fenders are already pre-installed. We got skirts, which I assume is just no skirt. Yep, there we go. Rims. The gold rims do look really, really rather fresh on this car. Side mirrors as well. All just, I mean, the, the crew customization really hasn't changed, frankly. Like, this all feels like stuff we get in the Crew 2 current day. We've got a really stock spoiler. You've got like a, oh, that one comes with like a, a little lip as well. Definitely a very good choice. Lovely. And the hood, which is, I assume, just going to be 
yeah, the, the basic stuff. Oh, a new one. Whoa. Yeah, why not? That would require listening to the players. And we got one last Subaru to check out before we drive all of these Subarus. And that's the Perf one. This one, Perf and Street kind of combined to make Hypercar and, and Street. Because in Perf, you had stuff like... Oh, whoa, whoa. You had stuff like Hurricanes and, and Aventadors up against Camaros in Perf in this game. What's the two, What's the difference there? Oh, the headlights. Oh, we got two different headlights. Nice. Oh, we got demo mode on. Yeah, so this is how you would... uh. Test drive a car in the crew while you're customizing it. You can't even do that in the crew Motorfest. We have vanity nitruses in Motorfest. Bear this in mind. This game, nitrous looked the same on every single car. We can now customize nitrous, yet this game has a better preview system for nitruses. Okay, I'm gonna go with those. No, I'll go with these. I love that, 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 that hood. And then at the back, we kind of just got the same things. I don't really... Not a fan of the uh, the mismatched pinstripe, which that leads to, though. Nice lights, though. The fenders. No oh, wait, 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 hang on. Yeah, yeah, we actually have a, a wide body here. I okay, nice. We got a wide body B, Ozzy. And the gold rims are rather nice. But you know what I've been wanting to use since I discovered they exist? I kind of want to put some white rims on this. I don't know what it is about them. This car just makes me want to put on white rims. And we got the uh, similar spoiler options, except we have a much more Forza Aero. <laughs> And the hood, I... Oh, you can't really go basic. Right, okay, that's where this game was weird. If something was customized, it's staying customized. We can't put a stock hood on this car, really. Sid Luff's topping off white ribs. Why do you gotta say it like that? Oh, it's so crazy seeing this car in this game, man. Let's drive it. Let's drive this thing. So if we got this car in the crew still to this day, if we had it in the Crew 2 and the Crew Motorfest, it would have been in two different specs. It would have been in Street and it would have been in Rally, which was Rally Cross in the Crew 2. Instead, we are missing both of the Crew Barus, unfortunately. Now, the Toyota GR86 is coming into Motorfest soon, but unfortunately, Subaru and Toyota are very, very separate, whereas Toyota seems to have gotten over there being mad at racing games and now is in different racing games like well motorfest is kind of the you know they were in forza a while back but they're in motorfest now and they're adding more cars in motorfest like the like the toyota gr86 subaru on the other hand well let's talk about it so this player right here doesn't actually have the wild run update which released later in the crew but that means because of the wild run update that we also would have had the subaru brz in a drift because it is later added to drift in the wild run update before it was removed from the game so what happened why is subaru nowhere to be seen in crew anymore why no crewbaru so back before subaru were removed from the crew and i mean removed they were scrubbed like i mentioned before or i might not have i don't remember at this point you cannot buy this car anymore this car is only available to those who purchased it originally if you don't have this car from way back when you can never ever Get this car again. This police chase is getting hectic, but I'm I'm clearly too fast for them. And that really implies that whatever this falling out was, was a really messy falling out. So that's what happened. There's a rumored falling out that happened between the crew and Subaru. Whatever it was over, some kind of licensing thing, some kind of licensing issue. Oh God, we got someone helping. No way, someone joined our chase. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm off-roading. I need the rally version for this. What are you guys chasing me for still, huh? See, because car licenses can be like that. They are terrible. In fact, I would argue car licenses are one of the big things, direct from, really, Black Panther here, that is ruining racing games. They make them so they can't have illegal street racing. They can't have their cars be damaged to a certain level. They can't have so many different, uh, like, customizations. Oh, God! Chat, they use their abilities to make me ram them. Same with having cops in the game. Yeah, another licensing thing. That's why in the Crew 2, when we got a police update, we got interception units, not police. Little things that the crew has to do to keep these licenses. Whoa! <laughs> license holders happy. But they must have done something, because clearly Subaru were not happy in the end. They... <laughs> Ugh, they very much changed their mind. And it seems, given that they've never returned, that they just went nuclear. They went complete no contact with the crew. We've never, ever heard or seen anything from them since. And 
presumably we aren't ever going to until the 78 year old in charge of Subaru moves on or gets fired. Oh god, not again! Ah, control! Thank you! Take this! Yeah, how'd you like the ha <laughs> karma? That's what that is, fellas. And you take this. Having this thing in drift would have been so nice. It is a license that just would have been so appreciated to have. What Subarus would you guys even want in the game? Because the crew one only had the BRZ. Would you want the WRX? I guess that's the most popular one, right? If they were going to bring back Subaru, it would be the WRX and it would be this thing right here. In rally, in drift, in st uh, streets, and then the WRX obviously in rally. And hopefully we also get the WRX in street. Oh yeah, the Impreza. Of course, yeah, yeah, the Impreza as well. That would be nice in both street and rally. It's just so sad that Subaru took this option. But you know what's even sadder? The thing is, is there's something even more sad than Subaru initially not allowing their cars to be in racing games like this. See, maybe by the time you're watching this video, by the end of March, this game will no longer be playable. You will no longer be able to even launch... Well, you can launch the game. But you will no longer be able to connect to the game. If you try, it just won't work. The servers are being shut down. And the crew refused to add an offline patch to this game. So, because the servers are shutting down, that means that you'll just never, ever be able to play the game again because the servers are required to play the game. Thankfully, modders right now are hard at work at making a solution for that at making it so you can still play this game without needing that internet connection but until then we're screwed until then not only is the game no longer playable but the subaru brz in the crew is lost forever you will never be able to drive a subaru in the crew franchise ever again unless the crew work out their differences because it's not like subaru is like toyota here where they went with a nuclear option and just went no, we're only going in Gran Turismo for whatever reason. Subaru specifically aren't in the crew. Like, it's not like for some reason they're not going in this racing game and this racing game and this. It's just the crew. They are still, after however many years, still stuck up and in their feelings about whatever the kerfuffle was that happened. So I'm grateful to the viewer who's allowed me to get to drive this thing because this is the last time one of the last times a Subaru will be driven in a crew game ever that's crazy to think wow whoa I right now what I'm doing right now is like in the last 10 times a Subaru will be driven in a crew game if modders cannot save the game oh no way we got two two other racers with us no way we got two other criminals lovely nice and we're using abilities and everything. Okay, the crew, you could put me on a on, off-road, please. I, I, I joined this in Rally. You could uh, put me off-road, please. Modders save Need for Speed Online, so there's hope. There is hope, and there's not been anything yet. But I'm hoping when the servers shut down, that's when the changes are made. That's when the ability to mod the game will thrive, hopefully. God, how far away are we? This one's way longer than that other one. Oh, for, hit by an EMP? I'll EM your P in a minute. Hey, maybe after that... Maybe given the crew one is shot down. Think about it this think about this yet. If Subaru was so mad at the crew one, right, that they went nuclear and even removed the car from being viable, maybe Whoa, 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 what just happened? Ow. Maybe when Oh god! Stop! When the game is shut down, Subaru will go, well, I mean the game's shut down now, so I guess we might as well. Just let them drive the cars again. But what if I told you that the Subaru BRZ isn't the only car in the Crew 1 that we haven't gotten back ever since the Crew 1? What if I told you that this isn't the only lost car in the Crew franchise? It isn't the only car that we're never going to receive again or ever be able to drive again in the crew. Except, you know, they're a lot less exciting is the issue. <laughs> See, well, the first one out of these is from a brand that you might not even really know much about or know very well. It's, well, it's rough because we have the CTR3, we have the 3400K, but what we don't have is the rough RT35. This car, because this was back when Porsche still couldn't be added to racing games. Porsche was still under a 
a uh, Need for Speed contract. But then eventually, obviously, by the time the Crew 2 came around, Porsche were in racing games again. And although we have the rough or the rest of them, what we don't have in the Crew 2 is any rough in street. Especially this one, which got replaced by the 911 GT3 RS. Ruff is a brand that, you know, they make they make Porsches from Porsche body kits. Some people actually really like them. This is quite nice, honestly. But this thing has, like, a fair few, like, actual, like, different cars we could have gotten. There's a bunch of roughs in this game that actually we should have, like, the, the other two roughs that I mentioned, but in streets, basically. But there was a rally version of this rough, which you can really see the 911 GT3 RS inspiration here. There was obviously a perf rough, but that one's to be assumed. But one really surprising one is there was a rally raid rough of this one. The 911, could you imagine? It's, this thing looks quite cool, actually. <laughs> It looks like an egg. What is? What am I driving? <laughs> Damn, of all cars to not have this. Whoa, God, my bad. Honestly, I wouldn't even mind getting this car back. This thing's kind of cool. <laughs> Especially if it would be in rally raid like this and dirt and everywhere else. I'm going to say, chat, I miss rough. I do, I do. I, well, at least I miss this rough. And something that Porsche themselves disallowed is rough in circuit as well. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. But this is also an example of one. Oh, the one I'm in right now isn't actually in circuit. So yeah, this is this is a rough in circuit, which you also can't get in the Crew 2 or the Crew Murderfest. Well, I mean, this body kit as well. They really, rough really let the crew go ham on body kits, especially on Rally Raid and and they went nuts, clearly. Damn. <laughs> so here's all the options, you know, we got rough, in dirt, perf, raid, circuits, and whatever else, the other roughs, but another major car that we don't own in the crew for, for better or for worse, the Ram SRT10 in basically every single spec. Damn, whoa, okay, yeah. This Ram is also not in the, whoa, it looks quite cool here, actually. <laughs> looks kinda sick. This thing right here, we did get RAM back, but, you know, RAM, SRT, they had their old little thing, and clearly this was one of the cars that, well, got lost in that divorce. And hey, I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're too upset about that, really. Hang on a minute, there may be one more car that I wasn't even aware of that we don't have. And there it is, a rally version of the Hot Rod. Oh, wait, that's really interesting, because this thing is in an image in the Crew 2, no? It's in a an image for one of the events. Oh, what is what is that exhaust? Why? <laughs> I'm fairly certain this thing is technically in the crew too in a rally cross event, like a an apocalyptic rally cross event, and it's the image for it. But then they didn't let us actually drive it in the game in rally cross. How weird. The crew, how weird. What are you doing, the crew? Why are you, why are you behaving that way, huh? Maybe I wanted to drive the hop in rally cross. Why are you trying to stop me? In fact, this is before it was even the hop one. It was just the hot rod in this game. <laughs> and those are all cars that we no longer have in the crew. And ain't that sad. Thank you to popular members, especially thanks to famous members, and an insane thank you to star members Grim Pepper and Extreme Speed, and an insane, insane top of the top thank you to icon members HK and Extreme Speed again. Ain't it sad, chat? Ain't it sad? The Subaru BRZ. Gone, but not forgotten. Well, it's, well, it's gonna be very gone very soon, actually, now that I think about it. It ain't.